Welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a first impression on a foundation that I recently picked up. The foundation is going crazy hyped up on YouTube and I didn't want it to do this review because there's so many reviews up already but there's the only reason that I ended up doing this review is because there's not a lot of reviews on this particular shade that I'm using so that's why I decided to go ahead and do this um, review on this foundation and the foundation that I'm talking about is the new Too Faced Born This Way foundation and this recently hit stores on June 15th and I picked mine up on sephora.com and I'm in the shade Carmel Unfortunately, this is the darkest shade that comes in the line. There's 12 shades and this is the darkest shade. But I did hear through the grapevines that Too Faced is gonna be releasing some darker shades and also some lighter shades soon, I guess. I'm not sure when they're gonna be releasing it. But today's review is gonna be on the shade Carmel, which is, like I said, the darkest shade currently. So this is what the box looks like. I'm not gonna go too much in depth on the packaging or anything like that. But I'm sure a lot of you is very much familiar with the packaging, the box, the bottle and all that. So basically this is just to show you the shade because there's not a lot of reviews on this particular shade. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's just a glass bottle. It's a fogged up bottle if you want to call it that with a gold rim and it also comes with a pump which is a plus for us because I know a lot of us loves pump with our foundations the top of the cap has the Too Faced logo on the top there which I think is a very nice touch to the foundation my primer today I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Hangover RX primer just to go with the foundation because on the website it did say that these two go great together so yeah I'm going to try this is also gonna be the first time I'm using this primer as well so it's gonna be like a win-win on both products I'll be pretty much reviewing both so this also comes with a pump so I'll go ahead and place this on the face first off the bat I do notice that this primer is very liquidy very thin compared to a lot of primers that I use but it feels very moisturizing Also just a quick thing, the claim for this foundation is that it's medium to full coverage. So I will just do the, just half of my face first, just to compare because I do have just a little bit of dark spots on my face. So we'll see how much of a coverage this foundation really is. I'm gonna be going in with my, with my usual um, Kabuki brush, which I use all the time for a foundation. And this one is the angle one. Let's see. So I just went in. So I just took one pump because I'm just gonna do the first. I'm just gonna do half of my face first and dot it all over. I hope this is not too dark for me. have a little bit remaining on the arm so as usual I'm gonna spray my brush with some fix plus that's what I always do now I'm just gonna blend this foundation out. As 
can see right off the bat it did pretty much even out my skin tone and this is my shade unfortunately I'm the darkest shade on in the line so this is the half that has the foundation and this is the side that doesn't so as you can see it's very very shiny but again the foundation did not claim that it was going to be matte or anything like that so yeah pretty much evens out the skin tone so so far I'm I'm liking it my problem area usually is the corner of my nose because it's dry right now so it's usually when I usually put foundations there it usually would like settle and crack or you, you know what I'm talking about so that's what I'm looking at here to see if I'm getting that from this foundation and so far it doesn't seem to be doing that one layer is pretty good for me I'm not going to build it up to a second layer so as you can see it pretty much covers that redness that I usually have in the corner of my nose it cleared up everything it pretty much looks perfect and the only problem right now is that it's a little shiny which I don't mind but we will see I will just probably dust just a little bit of my studio fix powder from MAC and that's pretty much it so I'll go ahead and finish off the rest of my face according to some of according to some other reviews that I've watched here on YouTube a couple people said it did oxidize just a little bit so I think maybe I should have went a little lighter just maybe a shade lighter but I think I can make this work since it is hot it is summertime now so it is I'm gonna probably I am gonna probably get a little more darker than this so I don't know what you guys think you think it matches me I think it looks a little too dark does it I don't know We'll see if it oxidizes or not, but so far, to be honest, I really do like it. And I like that, what I like mostly about this foundation is that, is that it doesn't settle in the, the little creases in the corner of my nose, because that's one thing that I have a problem with, with most foundations that I use. But as you can see, it pretty much evens out my skin tone. And this is just one layer using the my foundation brush which is a the angle kabuki brush that i always use to apply my foundations and so far it seems pretty good it's just a little shiny but not greasy i wouldn't think greasy i think it can so remember this is a first impression not a review pretty much like the ones that people wear for a couple hours this is not what this video is about because I can't wear it for a couple hours. It's nighttime here where I'm at, so I can't wear it for a couple hours. But as of the bat, I can say first impression is that the foundation looks pretty good. Um, it feels pretty good. It pretty much feels like I don't have foundation on my face, which is what I like. And two, what I like is that it doesn't settle in this little crease in the corner of my nose. Okay, so I'm back, and this is me with all of the rest of my makeup on i didn't the only place that i set with powder is under the eyes and a little bit on the forehead and a little bit on the chin using my loose banana cream pie powder from graftobia and that's it and i only set there because i placed my concealer there and that's pretty much it the rest of the face it is what it is i did not set it and this is pretty much the foundation with my complete makeup finish like i said it looks pretty damn good it's been a few minutes since i put, put it's been a few minutes since i put my foundation on so i don't think that it oxidized any i don't think that it oxidized at all because some people did say it did oxidize and i don't think so it looks the same way when i first applied it so yeah, I did put some highlighter on, so if you see any shininess or glowiness, it's from the highlighter and that's it. 
the the glowiness or the, the dewiness that we did see when I first applied the foundation that pretty much died down a little bit so it's not as shiny as when I just put the foundation down it looks a little less shiny which is a good thing and um yeah anywhere else that you see in all this glowiness it's from the it's from my highlighter that I used so I think this foundation looks pretty good and so far I think I love the foundation like I said it did not even after a couple of minutes of, of the foundation going down into my skin it didn't it still didn't crease or cake up in the corner of my nose which usually foundations does that and this one didn't do that and it again it still feels light and it's not it doesn't have that heavy feeling on it and I think I do like the foundation a lot yes that's pretty much my first impressions on this foundation and again this is a new Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm in the shade Carmel and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression video it is my first first impressions video of any product so um, yeah if you guys like these kind of videos give it a thumbs up and leave your feedback below and that's pretty much it so yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye